Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how two charged objects exert a force on each other. You should then be able to describe what's meant by an electric field. And remember that all of this is for triple physics students only. In the last video we saw that when two insulators are rubbed together, electrons can pass from one to the other. When an insulator gains electrons it becomes negatively charged, and when it loses electrons it becomes positively charged. Scientists call this static electricity. In this video, we're going to look at this in more detail, so let's get started. I'm showing you here two plastic spheres. The sphere on the left has a positive charge and the sphere on the right has a negative charge. Now the first key fact that you need to understand is that objects carrying opposite charges attract. So that means that there's a force of attraction between these two spheres. Scientists call this a non-contact force because the two spheres are not touching. Here we've also got two plastic spheres, but this time they're both positively charged. And this brings us to our second point. Objects carrying the same type of charge repel. So in this case, there's a force of repulsion between these two spheres. And again, this is a non-contact force. Now we saw this in the previous video. This man's hair is standing on end when he touches a Van de Graaff generator. That's because each hair is now positively charged, and that means that the hairs repel each other and move apart. Okay, now scientists explain the forces of attraction and repulsion between charged objects using the idea of an electric field. So let's look at that now. I'm showing you here a charged object, and it's completely isolated from any other object. Now this charged object has an electric field around it. What that means is that if we place another charged object near it, like this, it will experience a force. In this case, because both of the objects have the same type of charge, this will be a force of repulsion. Scientists show an electric field using field lines like this. These lines must be perpendicular to the surface of the object, in other words, at a 90 degree angle. So, for example, this is not correct the lines are not perpendicular to the surface. Now the arrows on the field lines show the direction of force when a positive object is brought nearby. So as you can see in the case of this example, a positive object experiences a force of repulsion when it's brought near this positive charge. The field lines for a negative object look like this. Now you can see that if we bring a positive object near this charge, it will experience a force of attraction. We can see that as the arrows are now pointing inwards towards the charge. Now if we decrease the distance between the objects, then the force gets stronger. So this positive object experiences a strong force of repulsion, and that's because it's close to the central positive charge. However, this object experiences a weaker force of repulsion as it's further away. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on the forces between charged objects, and on electric fields in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe how two charged objects exert a force on each other. You should then be able to describe what's meant by an electric field.